Hey guys, welcome back to Clash with Bando. Tonight I've just got a bit of a, not tutorial, but I'm going to analyse one of the Queen Walks that have just happened in a war versus an Indian clan. Um, he did get the three stars, but I just want to pick it apart and just show you guys things that I look at and stuff like that. There's heaps of raids out there on how to do Queen Walks and pathing and all of that. It's just something you can't do straight off the bat. They take time, they take a lot of planning, a lot of thinking about which way your queen's going to go, where do you herd, what right ways to do it. And what he's going to go with in this raid is the four healers, one rage, one jump, two heals. That's quite a standard mix that I use myself at times. It's a good heal, it, it's a good combo. Four healers, there's a lot of safety in that. Only a level 20 queen. So, yeah, I think it's a good raid. Um, he's gone with the two giants early, and that's to get a hard herd up the top there. Simply being, he wants to make sure his queen goes down south and avoids those air defence up top. That way he's going to get maximum use out of that queen. One big thing I spot, which could have happened any time now, any time at even the start of the raid, was he could have gone one minion on that camp. Pitch that down to get to that, that, that mine, and it would get both of those buildings. Time wouldn't be a problem or he could have even started on the DE Spell Factory. So that, to me, should have should have happened. Um, and if you have a look now... Now he's got two point defences firing at him. So it's just the Expo and the Archer Tower. It's not going to kill it, the, the Queen straight away, because obviously she can't keep up with both. But if you have a look at that Archer Tower, there's no point defences defending that Archer Tower. That queen has got the Archer Tower's aggro. So right there, one hog would kill that Archer Tower and keep that queen going well. That is something that does take a bit of time to work out because you're concentrating so hard. It's amazing how much concentration you put onto one particular thing because it's new. It's one of these raids that are going to be your bread and butter raids that get you through hard bases. So you see now he's got that Archer Tower still causing him a bit of grief whilst he's got to do the clan castle. So he's has, had to push that um, rage to make sure the dragon didn't get him down. What's good is the healers don't get hit by that archer tower, so he's placed those well at the start. He's only got the two point defences he's pushing into here. So that's nice. That means his queen's not going to go down any, any quick rate. So now the queen's going to top up a little bit, which is good. And you see very quickly he's going to be hitting the enemy queen. And what's interesting is this is quite a tough part of the raid to coordinate getting your jump, your kill squad going with your king and golems and making sure all of that goes well while he's got an enemy queen. So he's got his, his queen's ability in the bag. But if he used his poison any time around now because it lasts 15, 20, 30 seconds, whatever it lasts, up to 30 um, that queen's damage is going to be slowed horrifically down. So 50% damage slowed down. And he wouldn't have to do what he does now, which is pop his ability. So he's had to pop his ability. And you see by popping that cloak, that's disengaged the queen. And then she's gone to the next section of the raid, which is the giant. Because that's in her aggro radius. And then that's caused a bit of grief. So... He's got the two golems, was it? No, just the one. Oh, so it was a, it was a uh, cold-blooded. I thought he took two golems, and so that's even better. But you see that golem split and dead now. He's not going to get much more out of his king, but he starts his hogging up the top. So the king gets slowed down a bit. He's dead. The Queen now, she's in midfield, she's got the Expo on her the whole time. She's got the Blower giving those healers a bit of grief. He does get his um, the poison, remaining poison down for the Skellies. And that's all over Red Rover, but to me that's two very minor points. Um, or even three, I guess, if, if you include the, the Hog at the start. But obviously quite a few Hogs left at the end. He was a little bit late with getting his wizards down. Probably could have got them a, a touch earlier. But, um, yeah, when you can start working out those...
key points at the start. Where's your queen going to go? Is she going to hold aggro on a defence? If so, can you get that defence down early? And once you start including poison into the equations of when your hero fights the enemy queen, because she does such heavy damage, if you stick a poison on her, is that then going to stop the ability being required to be used? And then that means that you keep that in the bag for later on in the raid. So I definitely like how you use the, po the rage first. That was good uh, because it's much easier when you try to coordinate a, ki a kill squad to have that ability because if things are getting quite intense, then um, it's nice to be able to click one button and bang, she's healed, she's alive, and you keep going with your raid. But um, I hope I've helped. And yeah, just queen walks, they take time. Get them out there, practice them. Try your super queen farming. That'll teach you how to path your queen. That'll teach you how to path your wall breakers and, and your herding of your abilities. I've linked that up before in my uh, replays. I did, did show um, Town Hall 10 uh, super queen farming. I will put a Town Hall 9 up one day. But um, yeah, hope you guys had a bit of a laugh and clash on. You got design, run across the room.